to another episode of Austria where you get to see James try to fight a war that he isn't really caring about and you get to see how nonchalant he could be about thousands of people dying in a second. And yeah, I'm... Yeah, this is not good. Oh gosh, you have to hold out. These guys are probably gonna reach it much quicker, aren't you? October 12th, yeah. Ah, dang. Yeah, I don't think my men are gonna be able to hold out for a month. As much as I give my men credit- Oh wait, 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 do they have gas attacks? Let's figure this out. Do you guys have gas attacks? No! They don't! Oh my goodness, we won! <laughs> oh my goodness. So even the British are really- The British can't do anything against me then. Like, they can't. The troops are just not gonna be able to fight against my uh, souped up troops. But holy shit. Run! No! No, you guys get to run. Like this, like this, like this. Okay. So apparently they were invading Persia and I didn't realize it, but... Um... Yeah, we basically... I'm just trying to conquer what I need to conquer so that these guys are... You know, willing to give me what I want. I just want this land right here. That's all I want from these guys. They can have everything else. Okay? And I literally do mean that. I don't really want anything else from from Britain. I don't really want anything else. The British! Aw, oh, dang it. The British-Japanese alliance, that's not good. That basically, guys, that basically means that the British and the Japanese are now going to be BFFs. So that's not good. That means now we have to deal with a, a British-Japanese alliance, which means the biggest naval powers are going to be teaming up together. Which means we might have a very scary time of dealing with, dealing with people. Just, just saying, alright. But we're going to be conquering all this land very quickly. Hopefully, maybe the British will give up before we have to do any more exchanges. I'm kind of hoping that we can just beat the British without really trying. And there's my 51 death stack. Dang, you guys are late. Like, seriously. Okay, go right there, go right there. Oh, man. Yeah, it seems like we got another 37 death stack trying to do some stuff. Alright, now we got all this. Move my men over here to Naiju. It is kind of annoying me that we do have one region that's not conquered. And yeah. Uh, 20 reaction. <laughs> I'm saying, I, I can't deal with... These people just keep on asking for more and more stuff I can't give them. If they ask for one more thing about stupid reactionaries, I'm going to be so mad. Because seriously, I am being a nice person right now. I'm supporting 6,000 social dependencies. If I literally don't have this, I have money. I ha if I do have this, I have money. You guys have to get yourselves jobs. I'm just saying. Get yourselves jobs and start working off your debt. Seriously, you owe your country this. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, you guys, go right here. I'm gonna try to pick you guys... I'm gonna try to pick up that army before it dies. Uh, but how successful that will be, I don't know. Wow, I don't know where... Oh, the British came from India. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where they got this army from. But it really is annoying. Okay, just go this way. We're going to make sure just in case if that troops, if those 49 troops, you guys are splitting off 10 troops. Yeah, I was about to say that's a pretty stupid idea. Yay, Nobel Peace Prize! Or Nobel Prize! Probably not Nobel Peace Prize because we are definitely not the most peaceful nation ever. Uh, yeah, continue. Just continue. I, they're not going to be able to make it off it, yeah. We may have passed halfway to the point where they're not going to be able to make it. So this is going to be a battle right there. How well are my troops going to be able to fight these guys? We're going to figure out... Oof. This is more like... Ooh, that's going to be a slaughter if my other men join in. Yeah, that's more of a slaughter than anything. And with both those armies right there on that province, we should be able to conquer this pretty quickly. Alright, now let's go back to over here to go get these men out of here. No! You don't get to go exploring because you guys are going to die. Okay? You guys get on this stupid ships and go right here. Okay? We're evacuating Persia, because Persia looks like it's going to die pretty quickly if I don't do stuff. Okay, and then plus these two armies should be able to get that province siege down pretty effectively. And then also get ROG, RCT, military tactics training, and boom. Okay, let's see. Britain, do you want to give up? I mean, seriously? They would not accept this offer, even though I have it completely conquered. Uh, it's probably it's probably most likely because I have 
a lot of land that is unconquered that they're not giving up. Well, that could easily be rectified. I can easily go destroy a lot of their the soldiers over here, especially since I do know I have gas attacks and they don't. So I have the upwards advantage of this. You guys also come down here. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I can overwhelm any forces that are over here now. Now that I know I have the superior advantage. Uh, still worried about all this though. That's that's something I finally didn't remember. And I guess also Johor is also probably going to get destroyed in there. Over here should be safe. Yeah, because I have like a tiny army over here. So it should be safe. It's a pretty bad army now that I think about it. But it's going to be... It's fine. It's fine for the reasons it's it's going to be built. So, yeah. A celebration of freedom! Wow! You guys have a very weird... Yeah, lose consciousness in Slovakia. Sure. You guys have a very weird definition of freedom. I'm just going to tell you that now. Okay, you guys go down here and we'll start pushing... We'll start pushing the British back. Because the British obviously want to fight this out. So, I'll, I'll give them what they want. I'll give them a good, decent fight. So that they, you know, at least feel like they were... They were acknowledged in this. Even though they really should know I'm just going to steamroll them with epic proportions. Because I can keep this war going for as long as I need to until I win. Yeah. That, that's the sad part about this. Is I could keep this going for as long as I want to. Speaking of which, I should also upgrade all this stuff. Because this is also a colony of mine. Even though I keep forgetting about it. Yeah, like, it's hard to... I wish I could sell this to Germany. Like, seriously. I don't really want that part anymore. It, it was a good buy when I first had it. But seriously, it's not really good anymore. Okay, so let's see. Go down here, go destroy some more peeps. You guys are going to be able to get there. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get to these guys before they... Uh, Arabian Uprising in Sklota. Yeah, you know what? We could do that. I could lose some prestige for that. Okay, and let's do that. Win some more battles. That should... Right there, that should basically uh, destroy any, like... Okay, divide the army in half, send half of it to go and go attack these guys. Well, why not? Uh, yeah, that seven, seven onto there should be able to beat, yeah. Unless they have gas attack defense capabilities now. Nope, they still don't have gas attack defense capabilities. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to be slaughtering all these guys, so combine these guys back up. We're going to go over here, going to go conquer back, but we need to. The British are obviously not giving up, which is annoying me to no end. They're like, yeah, we can totally still win this. And it's like, just shut up. Except that you lost and so we can move on from here. As maybe friends. Seriously. I mean, you guys won a couple back. You guys have all my land seeds over there. But you have very un unimportant land seeds. Like, I hate to be the down the Debbie Downer here. But seriously, you, you see it's like unimportant land to me. Uh, even like financially, I can survive without Persia. So... Yeah, um, my other army is going to be making a very slow trek because for some reason we don't have any railroads over here. Who the heck does not build railroads? Seriously, I'm the one who usually advocates for railroads. Um, these guys, the Ottomans are also not in the, um, British sphere, so we shouldn't have to deal with, like, major British relationships right there. I, I think that this men have basically no chance of getting to my mainland, so, yeah, we're fine. And now they're finally mobilized. Good. And now they're still not going to think that they're going to be able to win this. But I'm just going to go keep crushing. Uh, we're going to go combine all these guys first. And then we're going to go crush that 28 stack. And then I think these guys could probably seize back all this unseized land that they got. That they think that they won so hard for. Oh wait. No, no, no. Don't separate. Combine. There we go. Yeah, they're thinking that they could probably get a lot of this land back really quickly. Ah. <sighs> Which is, which is true to a certain extent, but I'll be able to get it back pretty quickly, too. Um, it's just going to take me a little bit. Uh, it's just, there's a lot of fighting going on. And, like, I did not expect to be at war with uh, Britain. And there we go! The crisis that I was hoping I could have gotten involved in because it would have been epic has spired. So what that means is basically I'm probably going to have to do this whole Russian... France thing by myself which annoys me just a little bit so yeah maybe I might just do it on the German Empire let's see who you guys gonna choose uh, Germany Germany 
Actually, I don't think this will actually evolve into a big enough crisis because each one's going to be like, uh, not very powerful. Yeah. Hey, stop that. Stop. Stop trying to siege all my land. Okay. Stop it. Stop it, Brayton. Stop it. Okay. We don't like it when you siege my land. <sighs> Man, good, good. We should be able to win in a straight up fight because we have gas attacks. And if not, I'll go send in more men. And celebration of freedom! Yay! We need more freedom. Okay. We need more freedom aid, I should say. Alright. And then... You guys about ready to just give up one little itsy bitsy colony? Seriously, you guys are just stubborn. I mean, I swear. You guys are just stubborn. It's, probably, it's most likely because I don't... It's because I let those uh, all of Persia fall. Is that the reason probably why they're not giving it to me? Uh, but they can't... What else are they going to do now? Because they really can't, like, get through... Ooh. They actually could hypothetically get to Dubu Dubai and then, like... Ooh, that'd be scary. I'm just, just to make sure they don't have anything, I'm going to go conquer Aiden. <laughs> I don't want something bad to happen to me. And then, like, I still haven't sent enough troops over here to really do anything. But, yeah. Huh. Stockpile food. We leave the, the, ch the children's the civilization suffering. Yes. That was what I meant to click last time, but accidentally did it. Yeah, that, that was a totally dictatorship move right there. Which I didn't mean to do, but it just kind of happened. So let's go destroy this army. Okay, now we got all this conquered back, and let's just start. Let's just start conquering more of their land since they want. Since they want to be stubborn about this, and they don't want to just admit that I could easily. This is my land over here. Oh, finally, you guys ready to give up? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Seriously, Britain, you were fighting me over something really stupid. Like I, I know you have this whole moralistic view of yourself, but seriously, that was pretty stupid. Good minimum wage. You guys are really asking and pushy for a lot of things. Like, seriously. I, I give you guys a lot of good things, but you guys also, like, destroy a lot of my guys. Alright, and there we go, people! So, Africa has finally been united under one roof. That also means that all my factory, all my, uh, all work done with, like, trying to upgrade, uh, uh, forts have been destroyed. But now we have finally an, uh, an actual united land. It looks kind of weird now that I look at it. <laughs> but it's finally united, which is what we wanted. And let's see, how's the crisis is paying off? Okay, we can actually join the, um... We can actually still join the crisis. Uh, most likely what that would mean is that we would most likely go on the side of the, uh... Uh... Well... Okay. I will join this crisis... If by chance the Netherlands join France. If the Netherlands do not join France, I'm not going to do this. Because as we know from last time, it does not end well when we only have a couple different defenders doing stuff. So, yeah. Alright, and since now since I have like all my colonies back in order, it's now time to start sending my people to their designated places. So, let's go right there. You guys will just be the protectorate of like both these places right over here. And let's see, do I have anyone guarding? No, no one's guarding my... Uh, uh, places over here. Oh gosh, I have to make all the all the stupid uh, forts. <laughs> this is the one. I guess invading. I guess getting some land from from uh, Britain was a pretty good idea because now I showed the world that I am a, basically a world power, and you better not mess with me because I will destroy you, and I will destroy you. I do mean that. Okay, and Haiti. I guess Haiti was actually going to be the next place I was going to think about conquering. Do you guys have any kind of people that would really love you? No, you have absolutely no one that loves you right now. Okay, then you're perfect to go conquer. Gosh, yeah. And then we could probably make this little colony right here and then make that colony right there. And then now we have a good, like, kind of good colony range right there. That's why I'm kind of thinking for my colonies right now. And yeah, look at that. I destroyed a little bit of Africa. Yeah. Good job for me. Hi, birth rate. Good job, people. You guys are mating a lot. It annoys me. Uh, because that means I get more healthcare. Assimilation. Yeah, seriously, begin assimilating. Everywhere. If you could assimilate anywhere and everywhere, do it. Okay? I don't care how it's done. I don't care if you have to use really aggressive and cheeky tactics. 
make everyone the same. It makes my life a lot easier. Okay, and I can also get some... I better get, I better get the last little behavioralism stuff. That way I get full reinforcements when I need the army to be big. And the Suez Canal dividends. Huzzah! Yay, Suez Canal. Train accident? What? We don't have faulty lines over here. Our country is great. We're better. We're better than every other country's railroads. Oh, it seems like. Um, oh, th they're trying to walk all the way back. Okay. Okay. Trouble is brewing. It seems Netherlands has joined the side of France. Okay. Since that happens, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay. So Germany and Italy versus France and Netherlands. Okay, and Netherlands have a decent sized military. France has really the military. But this is what I wanted because what I wanted to do was create like these two great powers. And now that these two great powers are in there, boom. Okay. I put my law on what which one I'm gonna join. Okay. So that's good. So I'm just gonna move my army like over here. Like because I know my capsule is going to get conquered pretty quickly. So since, basically what I'm saying guys, is that since I put my lot into which nation I wanted to succeed, um, I, I basically want to destroy Germany. Uh, 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 that's the bottom line here, is I basically want to destroy Germany at this point in the game. Uh, and apparently, Germany decided not to do that, and apparently Pomerania was born. Huh. So I guess they realized that this was a probably unequal battle, so... Yeah, let's see. Is Jimmy mad at us, by the way? No, they don't care. They didn't care about us just basically betraying them and basically saying, Yeah, we don't really want you guys to do that. But we didn't... We just wanted to make a gigantic war happen. Okay, Tricklet Safety. I can give you guys Tricklet Safety. Oh my goodness. You guys are being the most... Like, Tricklet Safety. Hmm. Tricklet safety. What is that? Wait, what is tricklet safety? Do you mean minimum safety regulations? Is is that what they're called? Because it's. Do you mean subsidies? No one really cares about healthcare, which is good. Uh, yeah, they they just mean some safety regulations. I could do that. Gives we give my people a little bit of a break with in terms of safety. Yeah, we could do that. I mean. This is the 21st century, so it's not like I... There's not, there's not that big... I mean, this is like the 20th century. There's not that big of safety things I can do for them. Like, I can't stop... I cannot do transplants or anything like that. So, yeah, they could, they could totally have whatever they need to make them feel... Istria, yes! Begin assimilation. I love those events. All right. Acceptable pension. Sure, we'll get... We'll, we'll just do the acceptable pensions. Why not? You, you guys will bankrupt my country with those stupid money. I'm paying a place under the sun. Our place on the sun. Our nation is one of the most prestigious great great powers on earth. From Vienna to the far flung provinces of the world, our flag flies proudly in the wind, striking fear in the hearts of anyone who dare opposes us. In celebration of our dominance and just reign, and an imperial parade is being Oh. Yeah, give me the prestige. Who cares about the rest of the nations? Give me the stuff. Alright, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it seems like Germany was just slightly broken up by by France. France, you did a terrible job of breaking up Germany. I would have freed like Bavaria and stuff people over here or the South Germanic Federation. You guys are terrible at breaking up stuff. But yeah, that's what they did. There's some Qing, there's some Qing reactionaries, which I'm hoping will actually break up China. I've been waiting for China to break up for a really long time, but it still has not broken up. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, and what we're going to do is we're, we're going to casually declare war on our good friends of Haytel. Hey Till, or is it Hey Tell? Whatever it is, we're going to declare war on them. Conquer this big gigantic region. That way we get some. Yes, we shall attend. We should get some oil from over here. I guess. I guess this one actually has a real strategic reason for why we're doing it. But for the rest of them, for the life of me, I can't see for the rest of me why I want the rest of the regions. So, yeah. We're also going to have to upgrade uh, Egypt because apparently this region's all done with its upgrading, which we're keeping good tabs on. Yeah, go us. To do yep okay let's go right here go right here go right there yeah, you guys also need to upgrade you guys need to upgrade you guys need to upgrade because I need to get you guys okay give me one second guys 
In, that was a really awkward place to end it because like literally in about two seconds we're gonna have to end the episode so i'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>